all got burnt off because women generally have smaller size and smaller blood volume. The amount of alcohol is diluted less. My mother drinking had caused me to have a birth defect. I found out I had fetal alcohol when I was, I was diagnosed at 12 years old. I was out here for about an hour, an hour and a half, and then finally the ambulance came out here to get me. Anyone who abuses alcohol increases their exposure to many different dangers. But for women, the risks are especially high because even small amounts of alcohol affect women differently than men. Here's why. Unlike food, alcohol doesn't need to be digested, so it can pass quickly and easily from your stomach into your bloodstream. Once in your bloodstream, alcohol travels to every part of your body but the first organ to be affected is the brain. How quickly the alcohol affects your brain and your other organs is in large part determined by your weight and the amount of blood in your body. The average female carries more body fat than the average male, and body fat contains little water. Consequently, most women have less body water to dilute the alcohol. Alcohol dehydrogenates is an enzyme that helps the body break down alcohol and get it out of its system. Women have less of this enzyme than men. Estrogen levels vary throughout a woman's menstrual cycle as well as throughout their lifetime. Estrogen increases the level of alcohol in the blood. A woman at different points in time could have higher levels of alcohol in their blood based on the hormonal effects of estrogen. What it comes down to is that drinking the same amount of alcohol, a woman generally will have greater effects of the alcohol. And that means women are at greater risk when they drink, even a little. All it takes is a couple drinks and it throws your judgment off. Or all it takes is one drink and your judgment is off. You could be put in, unfortunately, in a very compromising situation. 